What's up, Bargain Family? Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is all about the Dollar Tree crates. You can make some amazing DIYs with these crates. Not just putting flowers inside of them and then painting them. You're gonna see some really unique things inside of this video and some that will really blow your mind. This video is a compilation of some of my past DIYs and a few new ones, so I really hope you guys enjoy this video. There's two different types of crates you can get at Dollar Tree. This is the smaller one and this one has wooden slats. Then there's a slightly bigger one that has handles. I'm going to be staining my wood pieces in all of these projects with this Verithane stain in Early American. For our first project, I'm going to be using the wooden crates with handles, and I'm going to use six of them total. For this particular project, I'm going to be using these wooden slats that I got from Dollar Tree. They're 12 inches long. It is cheaper, however, now to go to a hardwood store and just to buy the wood there and have it cut down for you there if you do not own any power tools. I bought these when they were still a dollar. Now I glue two crates side by side using some wood glue and then I start to add wood glue to the top of my crates. That way I can attach the wooden slats that are from Dollar Tree. How many slats you need is going to be dependent on how many rows of crates you have. Wherever I place the slats, I only placed two of them to the front and the back of what I'm making. Now I bought these label holders at Hobby Lobby for $2.50 on sale, and I'm gluing them to the front of some of my slats. And I glue them initially so that I don't have to hold them in place as I screw them to the wood. I recently found these mini clear organizing containers at Dollar Tree. There's a sticker on the front that says Made Smart. I went ahead and I removed them. These fit nicely inside of the crates they do pop out a little bit but it's just a little bit and you can use these to hold loose things that wouldn't stand properly inside of the crates so paper clips ponytail holders stamps there's so many things you can put inside of this as long as they're on the smaller side it's very similar to those apothecary cabinets the other thing you can do is place the cabinets vertically and in that case I wouldn't put the little metal label holders if you do it this way this is great to hold little trinkets and make it more of a decorative piece I would also add wooden slats to the side of this to make this look a little bit more finished you can also make small little drawers for this so the crates from Dollar Tree that have the wooden slats are a perfect size for the slightly bigger crates. I wanted to add a little glam to this, so I purchased these knobs half off at Hobby Lobby. I purchased two different kinds, and half off they cost me about $3.50. Now some of them, the little screw that's on the back of it comes off, and you can glue that directly to your crate, and the others where the little piece doesn't come off, you can just put that between the slats and get them through that way. This is how this piece looks without the wooden slabs at the top and bottom, and then this is how it looks with them at the top and the bottom. Let me know which one you prefer in the comments. I prefer the one with the slabs at the top and the bottom. This is such a gorgeous piece, and I absolutely love the way that it turned out. This is one of my more popular DIYs. What you'll do is use the crates to create at least two rows and the rows will be tiered so you'll have the lower row and the upper row to create an upper row you just glue that on top of more crates to give it that height of course i'm going to stain this with my verithane stain in early american now I got these chalkboard tags at Dollar Tree for come in a pack for $1.25 and I'm going to write on the front of them with a chalk marker what is going to be inside of each crate. So this particular setup is going to hold K-cups and I think this is such a nice display to hold K-cups inside of your kitchen especially if you have a bigger kitchen and you can make it suit any of your decor. I've turned this setup into a hot cocoa bar and this is definitely what is my most popular crate. Great DIY. This was a hit with you guys, and I just think it's amazing to do. This is a truly amazing thing you can make with the Dollar Tree crates. What you'll do is you'll glue as many crates as you like to each other. So you're gonna do some crates vertically and some horizontally. I glued six crates horizontally and then four crates vertically. I used a mixture of wood glue and hot glue to glue all of my crates together. I used hot glue to cut down on the drying time to move this thing around. I can move it around right away while the wood glue really adheres everything nicely. Now I'm gonna use some foam board that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm going to cut down a piece for the back of what I'm making so it's going to go over the crates and then I'm going to have this space in the middle. 
I use hot glue to glue my crates to the foam board and I use a lot of hot glue to make sure it's nice and secure. Now I'm going to take a mirror out of its picture frame. I got it from Dollar Tree and I'm going to be using push lights from Dollar Tree as well. You need three AAA batteries for each push light and there's an adhesive on the back of it that you can just attach directly to the foam board. So I go ahead, center my mirror and I start to add my push lights. I, before removing the paper backing on the push lights, I figure out where I want to place them first and then I remove the paper backing. You'll do this first so that way you can figure out where the push lights are placed because if you place them down too quickly with that adhesive and you have to move it around, you're going to mess with the foam board. I ended up using some wooden trays from Dollar Tree to create some shelves on the side of my vanity. Now you can screw these together with some small little screws or nails. I just ended up wood gluing everything together. Wherever I place a shelf that's not at the bottom, I place it where two of the trays meet. So right in the middle to make this more secure. Go ahead and I paint the shelves white. I use Waverly chalk paint in white. I got it from Walmart and I also painted the crates with this paint. I used eight trays total for each one of my shelving units. Now I went ahead and I glued one of the shelving units to the side of my vanity and this makes it so that it can stand up on its own. And then I used the other one just on the side without gluing it down because I didn't know when I originally did this if I wanted to use one shelf or two shelves. If you make this, you'll make sure you put command strips on the back of the foam board, a good amount of them, and push that into your wall. That way this stays in place and doesn't go any Anywhere. If you didn't use little screws to attach your trays together, I don't recommend putting anything heavy on the shelves that are floating. You can put heavy things at the very bottom shelf, but don't put anything too heavy on the floating shelves. This by far is the coolest DIY that I've ever done using the Dollar Tree crates. It is so cool and it's super gorgeous. And it's a DIY that I'm very proud of that I created and I just absolutely love. Hands down, my favorite, 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 favorite crate DIY. Before we continue with the rest of these DIYs, I want to thank our sponsor for this video, NordVPN. NordVPN is a virtual private network service that protects your internet connection and privacy online. Using the internet without a VPN allows your data to be tracked, stolen, or sold, especially if you use your devices on public Wi-Fi, which is something that has directly affected me. I went to a hotel in New York, I used the public Wi-Fi, and my Instagram and Facebook was able to get hacked. They got my password passwords and personal information. I lost these accounts forever and after that happened I learned to always use a VPN so my passwords and personal information won't get stolen. VPNs also give you the ability to unlock region block content. For instance, video games, shows, movies that aren't available in your country at the moment. This is helpful because using a VPN allows you to hop on over to another country and stream things you can't in your country. For instance, Modern Family isn't available on Netflix in the US but if I head over to Canada server, I can watch Modern Family on Canada's Netflix. So I choose NordVPN. With 5,300 servers worldwide, it's one of the fastest VPN services out there, so you can browse privately and enjoy a secure internet connection at a high speed. NordVPN also has a 30-day money-back guarantee, so this is a really great opportunity for you to take charge of your internet privacy. Head to nordvpn.com slash bethany to get a two-year deal with one extra month free. Thank you so much to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. For our next idea, it's the same thing. You're going to use glue to attach crates together and it's up to you how many you want to use. This time around I did use the hot glue and wood glue method. I mainly do this so that I can hurry up instead of having to wait forever for the wood glue to dry before I could move the unit. Once I had them all glued, I went ahead and I stained all of my wood using my Varathane stain. Now I picked up these five gallon paint stir sticks from Walmart for 99 cents and I went ahead and cut them down to fit the front of the crates. Then I glued them to the front of my crates but on the lower portion of each, I guess, row that I have. Now I picked up these chalkboard wood stakes from Dollar Tree and I removed them off of the actual stick and glued them to the front of my 
stir sticks, whatever you want to call them. I used my Cricut to cut out some vinyl and I placed that vinyl on the front of my chalkboard tags. Now this is a spice rack. I'm using these small little mason jar shakers from Dollar Tree. I filled them up with some spices and then I fill my crate up with those mason jars. This is so cute. This reminds me of farmhouse decor, but you can always switch this around to match your type of decor. I had ended up doing another one using some marble contact paper that I got from Dollar Tree. I painted the crates white. I added the marble contact paper to my crates, did the whole stir stick thing again. This time around, I didn't put the chalk tags on the front of this. I just used spices that already had nice labels on the front of them that I created. And I really like this version as well, though I'm more partial to the wooden tone one. I made another spice rack and this one is great for very thin spaces and with this one you're going to need some wooden slats from Dollar Tree or you can just get wooden pieces at your local hardware store and this time around the spices will go on the bottom of the crates if that makes sense so you're going to use the bottom of the crates to create shelves before gluing all of your wood together you want to make sure that you have your crates spaced out perfectly to put your spices so just take your spices place them on the shelves and figure out the spacing then you're good to glue all of your wood together so i had three rows with two crates in each row and then the wooden slats on the side and i use wood glue to attach everything together but this is another piece where you can use small little screws or tiny little nails and then i went ahead and stained it again with the varathane stain i always would get questions about my spice rack so i decided to make something using Dollar Tree products that is as thin as the one that I own and you can see it's great for small spaces especially spaces that get wasted like this tiny little counter space that I have on the side of my stove. You can use the wooden crates to create a coaster holder. All you have to do is paint your crate or stain it whatever color you like. I'm using the same stain as always. And then I'm taking this flexible stencil from Dollar Tree and creating a pretty look to my crate. I just place the stencil right over and then paint over it with some white chalk paint. This is just a very simple coaster. You can see there's some paint missing on the front of this because this actually had a handle on it originally and it's from a previous DIY where I did the small version of the drawer you saw in the beginning of this video and it was placed inside of the bathroom. Another thing you could do with the crates is just glue them to the wood slaps from Dollar Tree. I recommend getting the 12 inch ones and then you just glue them with some wood glue. I added some hot glue just so I could uh, lift this up right away. And that's really it. If you get bigger pieces of wood at the hardware store, you can make a really tall one. It's just very simple to do. So that's it for these DIYs and hacks using the Dollar Tree crates. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. And again, thank you to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. Also, if you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, make sure you subscribe. I'm very close to hitting a million subscribers and I would love to do that. With that being said, I'm gonna let you guys go. Take care, bye.